Hey guys, in today's episode I'll be showing you how to do advanced building in the console. Specifically how to use the commands get position and set position. In this video you're going to need to pay very close attention to the bottom left corner of the screen where I'm typing. As you can see I've just selected this wall corner and disabled it. I'm doing this to check and make sure that it's the right piece I selected. This, this is the corner I'll be replacing. Now I'll bring up the console again and do a spawn dupe command. This command spawns a duplicate of the item you have selected. Now I'm going to select this wall and disable it and enable it just to make sure I have the right wall selected. Now that I know that's selected, we're going to start working with the get position command. We're going to start off with get position X. Just remember, all you have to do is push your arrow up button in order to select the previously selected command. And then you just push backspace and enter your X and Y and Z. Next we'll use the command get angle Z. This command gives you the angle of the item you need to replace. I'll also show you that the get angle X is going to be zero. It'll always be zero because that sets you up at level. Okay, now we have all the angles figured out. We'll begin working on the duplicated wall. Once again, bring your console up and select the wall. Now we're going to start using the command set position X. You'll need to use the numbers you referenced earlier using the command get position and get angle. Now, just retype those numbers in each coordinate for the corresponding angle X, Y, and Z. Now you'll see me typing these numbers out. Don't forget to double check your numbers because if you do type them wrong it will move the item who knows where and it's going to be really hard to find. The last set of commands you'll need to use is set angle Z and set angle X. This will set the angles of your piece to match up with the pre-existing item. The angle Z is the most important one. It sets the angle. Angle X sets your horizontal angle which will always be zero because that's level with the world. And that's it. You'll see I bring my console down and everything's perfectly aligned. We'll just fly around it, take a little closer look. We'll come back around to this side here and select the piece, the old piece and disable that. And there you go. A perfectly aligned wall. Next we'll be looking at another way to use these same commands. In this circumstance we're not going to have an item already in place to get all our positions off of. As you can see there's nothing in the floor here for me to find a position on. Instead we'll use two different items to get the position X and Y. Now I'll bring my console up again and select a piece I'm trying to duplicate and do another spawn dupe command. Now that the item is duplicated, we're going to need to get the positions X and Y to get it placed under the door. I'll start off by selecting this floor piece under the desk. You'll also need to know which direction X and Y run. I like to use the mod precise item movement to remind me which direction X and Y is. As you can see, I just modded my Y position 5 units. Now I've established Y runs north-south and X runs east-west. After selecting the floor piece under the desk, I use the command get position Y. Next I'll find the floor piece I need to use to get the position X. Now select it and use the command get POS X. You'll be needing two more coordinates. Angle X and position Z. That sets the angle and the height of your item. Next we'll begin using the command set position and set angle to get the piece put into place. Remember to double and triple check your numbers just to make sure you're not putting in the wrong number and the piece disappear on you. I just set position Z which is the height. Now we'll set angle Z which will be the angle of the piece. Then we'll use set angle X which will be zero. It'll always be zero as I've mentioned two or three times already. And then use set position X, which is the position of this piece in front of me here. And lastly, we'll use set position Y, which would be the piece under the desk here. If that's hard for you to visualize in your head, just imagine a graph on the ground. And visualize X running north-south and Y running east-west. 
So Y was the piece under the desk, and X was the piece above it, and that makes them a line under the door. And that's it. The piece is perfectly placed. If you like this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button, or even thumbs up me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.